you've clicked on this video because you want some tips of how to actually look sexy. It could be to feel better in your own skin or to attract a certain type of person. Now please understand that looking sexy isn't just about what's in your wardrobe, it's actually all about your overall persona. So it's not based on your looks, it's based on your whole vibing energy. And if you wanna know some tips of how you can actually dress and how you act to become sexy, this is the video for you. My name is Anna and welcome to the channel. Maintain some strong eye contact. Yep, probably not what you were expecting there, but the power of a strong gaze lets people know that you are so confident and this oozes lots of sex appeal. Stand up straight. There is just something about having a nice, strong posture that really does make you look very sexy. Because if we took, for example, you slumping over, kind of like this, you standing up very straight, shoulders back, head up, you know, really feeling strong, this makes you look very, very sexy. Remember, looking sexy is a lot about having confidence as well. Naturally, if we assume someone is confident, we are more likely to feel attracted to them. Fitted clothing, there's just something about seeing a guy in fitted clothes that really shows off his actual toned body or even just his general body. Baggy clothes, I guess it's cute on girls, but for guys, it's not really that sexy. You wanna kind of leave a little bit to the imagination, but just enough so that she can see your overall trim, your overall physique. Now, I'm not saying that you have to go out there and work pretty hard because really you don't. And we'll talk about that further along in the video. Black t-shirts. There's something about black t-shirts. I cannot express to you how sexy that is for a guy, but it just is. Ask any lady and they will most definitely agree. So if you have a black t-shirt, pop it on. There's something about it, you ooze sexiness. Maybe it's a low-key gothic thing that everyone's interested in, I don't know. If it's a buttoned up t-shirt or it's maybe just a shirt, just loosen up a couple of the buttons. Not so many, you know, a little bit weird. Just a couple, it shows you are very confident, you're very comfortable and it's so sexy walk with a swag i'm not saying this full-on like kind of like i don't even know what i would call this but something where you feel very confident you've not got your hands in your pockets where you're very kind of anxious keeping down and hiding yourself from the world but feeling like you know i own this pavement i own this sidewalk this is me i'm powerful look at me having a really cool kind of awesome swag just makes you look so much more attractive because it shows you ooze confidence Leather jacket, okay, I said it wasn't about wardrobe much, but I have mentioned a black t-shirt and a leather jacket. There's just something really awesome about a guy wearing a leather jacket. You don't even have to wear it, just having it over your shoulder is enough. It kind of gives off that rocker, motorcycle type vibe that a lot of chicks dig. It kind of shows, wow, you are daring, you are confident, you are willing to drive a motorcycle. Oh my gosh, this is hot. I don't understand it myself, but just invest in a good leather jacket. And if you are vegan, you don't have to go for leather, go for the pleather types because leather is a little bit hard to wash and it does kind of have a gross smell, kind of. Care for your teeth. This is such a big thing that so many guys don't realize. Go out there and invest in a good toothbrush. Obviously dental floss. If you have poor oral hygiene, it's a huge turn off and it can make the most sexiest guy become a little bit like, ew, stay away from me. If you can, just whitening up those teeth just a little bit. The Hollywood white smile is just very creepy. And if you look too overdone, women don't like this. So just get rid of those natural stains. It's so easy to just lighten your teeth nowadays that it really does make a ton of a difference. And remember, women love to see your teeth because they wanna see you smile. So make sure you are smiling to show off those pearly whites. Wear cologne, mm -hmm. I'm sure you have experience. If you have a really nice smelling cologne, women cannot help but turn their heads and what's that smell? And follow that smell because it just smells magnificent. So if you aren't sure if you have a sexy smelling cologne, then please go to a lady and get her opinion. Go to a department store, ask the ladies behind the counter and just say, can you help me? I wanna smell pretty sexy. Can you let me know what's the best type of thing? Now, colognes smell different on different types of people. So it's a case of trying some testers and seeing what works for you. Wear a watch or even lots of bracelets. There's something really hot about having this whole something on the wrist type action. I don't know what it is, but I tell you what is even hotter is when a guy slowly rolls up his shirt to reveal a big chunky watch. That is really hot. So if you get a chance to do that in front of the ladies, 
watch them swoon. They will most definitely just drop like flies. Get some of those nice leather looking bracelets. It kind of shows that you are customizing your outfits. You're a little bit alternative, a little bit free with the spirit type of vibe. And that is something that women love and we really do find it so attractive. Wear sunglasses. Don't be that guy that wears sunglasses indoors. It's very, very creepy and weird. And you don't even have to have them right here. You can just kind of slip them into your t-shirt. That just makes you look so cool. There's just something, I don't know, is it like a Terminator vibe going on? No one really knows for sure, but it's very hot. By preference, go for the darker shade. So deep reds, the brown colors, those tortoiseshell black greys and brown type stripe glasses, you know what I'm referring to. They really do enhance an outfit and just make you look really, really cool. Open body language, this has to be the most sexiest thing that you can do. If you are obviously standing there like this and you're looking on your phone, you don't ooze that sexiness, but instead, just standing, you know, open up this area here, have the chin up, being very open about your posture really does attract lots of ladies and they naturally assume you are confident in your current surroundings, therefore you are sexy. You will notice this in work situations. Some guys will sit there and they try to be as small as they can because they're probably bored which is understandable because work meetings can be but the guys that are very much leaning on the furniture really taking up the space around them those are the guys that women presume to be very sexy okay a little bit of muscle does go a long way but you don't have to be this huge beefcake because that is a big turn off what women are looking for when it comes to muscle is actually upper body strength a study tells us that women are looking for guys that are able to handle them, pick them up and keep them safe in times of needs. So we just want to make sure a guy is able to look after us. So even just having a little bit of bicep muscle is just enough. And with the bicep muscle teamed up with a black t-shirt, that is like the best thing ever. And then you've got a leather jacket over your shoulder. You most definitely have lots of Facebook friend requests and lots of requests to go out on a date. You've heard this, chicks dig scars. We really do, so don't be that type of guy that if you do luckily have a Harry Potter type of scar, don't brush your fringe over it, actually show it off. There's something about war wounds that women really love. Even if you just fell off your sofa whilst you were playing a PlayStation game, that's okay, no one needs to know that. But having some form of uniqueness which makes you stand out, it shows your vulnerability, something happened, something painful happened, and you recovered from it, it somehow oozes sexiness. I'm not too sure what it it is but feel free to actually show off those scars because it really is a talking piece it's kind of like a oh how did you get that scar groom your beard you can have facial hair but you could either look like you haven't had a shave in months or that you really do take some time into your appearance so groom your beard whether you have like a little tash the handlebars whatever it is you need to make sure it's always groomed and you always look perfect Smile, you know I told you to go out there and sort out those pearly whites. Well, team this up with a smile, but specifically a slow smile. There was a study that talked about the attractiveness of a guy's smile and it turns out when a guy smiles slowly, it's more attractive, therefore he's a lot more sexier. So if you get the chance when you look at someone, smile, but very, very slowly. With all this in mind, it's very easy to get very, very overwhelmed, but try not to try too hard. It's a turn off. If we see a guy that walks in with his hair up like a very Johnny Bravo type of character, it's a bit of a turn off. If a guy has really stacked himself in the gym for the ladies, it's a turn off. If you try way too hard, it's a turn off. So make it look like you are naturally just sexy, that it just comes easy for you. And that is just enough. Be a good cook. Now you don't need to be an excellent chef. Just being able to cook one good meal, but then being hands-on to help out in the kitchen is good enough. There's something so sexy about a guy that is willing to cook. So you can show this off in the break rooms at work. You can get out a dinner that you have cooked from the night before and you can say, yeah, I cooked this myself and it's just so sexy. And there we go, we've reached the end of the video. If you wanna binge some more, click right here. Or if you wanna get your name up on our super fan board, then all you have to do is be a member of our Joy Anima monthly membership. Details will be down below. Like and subscribe, see you soon.